students so in our next part of this video in our second part of this video the rest of the functions like option h first is the row count what is the meaning of row count this is the read on the attribute attribute you know that it's actually called a column and returns the number of rows that were affected in the execute method so you write cuer dot execute select start from table name select start from table name means from all the data you can retrieve from that particular section so you write select start from table name so you write variable equals to cuer dot row count how many rows are there that only read only methods can be executed from this particular section now option nine the commit what is the meaning of commit method or function this is one of the important function because commit means if anything to be executed successfully it's called committed transaction this command is used to save the changes in the database suppose you want to update something or modify something from the database table and after this change whatever the changes have been made in the table section so you write for example db dot commit comment db you know that is the database name and after that you write the commit method to execute or update something from the database section these are the rollback another very important comment from the transaction section and lastly i discuss about the close method after the connection have been established at end you must be close the connection or close the database connectivity so this method is used to close the database connection object which we have created so create comment at the time you can create the table but at the end you must be close the database connection it is the most important thing like in the file chapter also you see when you can use the open function at the end you must be use the close function to close the file for the database also the same concept to be applied here that is db dot close to close the method okay now come to the error section what are the different types of errors are to be the part of this this different types of errors you will be see in this particular area but you have to know about what is called interface error database error what are the different types of errors are to be come to this section of this particular section error that must exist in each database module list of exceptions this is actually called exception exception is actually what kind of error is actually throwing to you at the time of database connectivity it is actually called the error section of this particular area this error section you please check once but it's not so important section in this particular chapter not so important section now we come to the mysql example of executing and handling while connecting of the database now i first start with the import my mysql previously i told you my db you write at the beginning my mysql dot connector connect or otherwise you can write mysql db dot connect dot connect you write host equals to local host i think so you know that this four uh, parameters are there after that you write cuer you can create a cursor that is my db what is the variable name you can write at the time of connectivity so cuer equals to my db dot cursor after that you can write the statement what about the statement you write like here it is mentioned about select start from student that is sql statement after that you can write try and accept this is actually the part of this you can try is a one block is there and accept is another block is there from the try block you can set some statement and accept is actually catch the error so cuer dot execute you write statement after the result you can write cuer dot fetch all fetch all means you know that this function can retrieve all the records all the records from the database table after that you can print the result and in except block you remember that try is one of the block is there except is another block is there from there you will find out the error section of this particular section now we are actually near about to end of this particular chapter but conclusion part of this particular chapter i just remind you once you remember that this is your python application area where you can write the program where is your installation of python program you need to connect with the mysql connector and this is your database section so mysql dot connector dot connect this material i already sent to your whatsapp so i think so better you can check it yesterday i already sent this so connection dot mysql that means your application connect with the mysql and it is the application stored in this particular area remember that this is your db 
that is the database of database application programming interface okay and after that we are actually next day we are actually discuss about the short question answer and some of the programming application area of this chapter thank you have a nice day